Welcome to the Thursday, April 26, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's report, how has the chicken complex's WAG market fared so far in 2012? And later, a look at aquaculture feed prices. Now, here's the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. The Department of Agriculture said that U.S. consumers will pay 2.5% to 3.5% more for food in 2012, according to a forecast made in July. Beef and seafood will post the biggest gains of any food category, each climbing as much as 5%, the USDA said today in a monthly report on its website. The department reduced its estimate for price increases for fruits and vegetables to 2% to 3%, down a half percentage point from March. The Bureau of Labor Statistics this month said expenses rose 0.1% in March and food costs rose 3.7% last year, according to the USDA. For more information on the USDA's latest report on food prices and for other stories in the food service industry, please visit foodmarket.com. Now, Poultry Market reporter James Serpico explains how fast food promotions have affected the WOG markets and what to expect going into the summer months. One of the more noteworthy stories that's unfolded thus far in 2012 for chicken involves the scenario surrounding wogs. In the wake of numerous fast food promotions, the wog market advanced at a rapid pace early in the year and eventually reached the record high price point of $1.02 per pound in late March. From that point forward, the value of these items retreated a bit and currently rests at a more realistic 78 cents per pound. This present level is actually tracked right between those figures recorded on the same date in 2010 and 2011. The summer months are typically supportive of the wog markets, and if production remains cold in the weeks to come, the position of wog quotations should fall in line with historical norms experienced over the last few years. Thanks, James. To wrap up today's video, Seafood.com staff writer Michael Ramsang breaks down the 2012 aquaculture feed prices. A few weeks ago, we spoke about the importance of corn prices relative to the cost of feed in the poultry industry. The seafood industry is no exception, especially with growth in aquaculture. However, feed prices in this industry are largely affected by fish meal and soy meal prices. Since the surge in commodity prices in 2008, fish and soy soybean meal were no exceptions. For the production of fish meal, feed costs in aquaculture are dependent on the catch of anchovies and other bony fish that are destined for the production of fish meal. Well, landings have been low as prices for materials have skyrocketed. In addition, feed demand and aquaculture growth have been reflective of each other. Thus, as the aquaculture industry expands, feed demand increases as well. Following is a chart with the percent change in price for fish meal prices compared to Ernerberry's index for white farm shrimp and fresh farm salmon index. The latter shows a very high statistical correlation, while the white shrimp index shows more of a lagging indicator. Yet, since fish meal is an integral part of feed for both the production of shrimp and salmon, it is essential to follow the behavior of this price. However, it should be noted that while fish meal prices and other factors can affect market prices, the fundamentals of supply and demand will always be the best indicator of market pricing. Thanks, Michael. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.